Okay, let's hopefully have a better day today with streaming and runs. Because yesterday stream was not quite successful. Uh, no big deal, meth. But thanks anyway. Oh, Moff and Fireball. Thanks, Fat. Thanks, Or and May 64 and Jinta. Geez, everyone. <laughs> it's always happens. Hard to keep up. Hey, Sonic. Thanks, Teague. feels weird I don't know I never feel like it's weird it just feels nice Hi everyone who's been joining by the way I didn't forget anything. Is the audio okay between the game volume and my voice? Let me know. It's been years since you were last here. Ooh, I don't know, man. I've only been streaming on Twitch for like a couple years. But maybe you're right. Audio's fine, okay, good. SM64 days, yeah, that's kind of a long time ago. Well, I somewhat recognize your name, but, uh, not much else outside of that. <laughs> More beginning splits? Why? Oh, thank you, Juice347, for the random sub. Kind of interesting, much appreciated, and uh, enjoy the emotes. Yeah, a lot of people lurk. It takes a lot to get the lurkers to start talking. I'm not sad, I'm just chillin'. I 
It's just hard to be excited about Roxas World. Because it's Roxas World. Was that crap? How did he whiff all that? <coughs> Hello, pay uh, and everyone else. All right, come on, dust fights. Be nice this time. Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah. That was a bit sloppy. Stupid upside down walk. <laughs> I like how Sonic words it like that. He's like, hey, how can we do the strap horrifically wrong? What gives? Thank you. How long am I going to be on? I really don't know, dude. I can't exactly predict how long I can stream. Thanks, I heart moves. Sounds pretty weird indeed, Pei. Well, if I get record on the first try, I can predict that I'll be streaming for probably almost five hours. But that typically usually doesn't happen. Thank you, Kingdom, and hey, Captain, thanks. Hey, Red King, thank you. Ian. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Barely. Good fight though. Only some sloppy dust fights stopped me here. Current goal in this is Deathless Sub 420, and then I'll probably quit this category because JP 2.5 is not the most fun run you want to do. <laughs> Mainly because of the time. If it were, if it was a faster run, it'd be a lot better than it is. They didn't even fix the FPS much, honestly. There's still frame lag in some places for weird situations. Like some of the like battle cutscenes, I guess.
I think somebody already made that joke, EMP. Container, dude. Yeah, I can't believe that finals on this cutscene kind of just lags. It's like, really? <laughs> it can't handle that, but the PS2 can? Really? I know updated graphics and all, but come on, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Mega, for being sub for five months in a row, dude. Appreciated. Oh, this is a good layout, though. Jesus, a 4013, holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, Waldens. Who am I? What? <laughs> That was a pretty good fight, actually. A lot of double hits. Sick, dude. That was a really good split. <laughs> dropped frames so far twitch is so far working as it's supposed to today that's good Finally, good luck on Setzer. The first time since I came back to 2.5 that he gave me the good pattern. That felt like a late skip. I don't know why. A beginner mode. A trick. Turtle. Don't really care what I get in Roxas World because I'm gonna lose 90 hours in the tower anyway, as usual lately. I haven't had a good Yen Sid's tower in so many runs. <clears throat> Why is everyone saying like they're not used to the music? It's like it's not <laughs> good, but shouldn't be that like surprising or whatever. Oh, thank you, guy numbers for the sub, dude. Much appreciated. I've gotten <laughs> I don't know what's up lately. Lately I've been getting like two to three subs at the beginning of streams and then like nothing else for the rest. That's really weird. 
Not that I'm complaining. Enjoy the Kiwi emotes. <coughs> to be honest, I kind of tuned out the music by now. I know one of the reasons for actually running this version as a benefit is the music, but you do kind of tend to tune it out after a bit. Like you've heard it so much. You're just like, oh, okay, it's the song again. fucking BB clones you could have had. Ouch. That sucks. <coughs> really, really bad luck on that. Not The spawns are too far apart, basically. Hey, Burnt, thank you. And thanks, Checkerboard. Thanks, Bladeless and Lathiel. Thanks, Trick. Yeah, I think that's like a Twitch problem EMP. I don't think it can like handle the static or something. At least I think it's Twitch and not like X Split or the capture card. Yeah, no, it looks fine on my end. I think it's the way Twitch compresses the stream or something, it just like kind of shits itself during the static part. Kind of like back in the day on YouTube when the Axle Fights fire background kind of just destroys the quality of the video. Yeah. Don't forget Albert has like a cooldown of 10 seconds per use, in case you're wondering. Yeah, on emulator I would imagine it can be pretty uh, graphics card intensive. Probably on my old computer I've had some issues with that, but this new one I probably don't think- I don't think I've had any issues with that. Of course he would walk in my way, why not? Well PS- yeah, PS2 emulator is very intensive, but it's gotten a lot easier to handle over the years. Like a few years ago, yeah, it was ridiculous, but... If you're running like a pretty good graphics card and a good processor, you'll have no problems with it whatsoever. Azex. Ah, cutscene skips.
Yeah, exactly, Sky. That I hate playing on emulator unless it's specifically to like test or practice one fight only because um the input delay makes some things kind of annoying to deal with on emulator. As opposed to that's why I like try to practice on console a lot. Like emulator is good for grinding out specific fights and strats, but uh, overall practice should be done on a console. I'm derping the camera. There we go. Hello, Zion. Man, I hate dusks. They're so incredibly difficult to hit when they attack on the ground like that. I don't think frames is the proper term for being laid on that. <laughs> yeah, although the bulky vendor strat kind of just doesn't seem like it really needs testing. I just don't feel safe doing it, but maybe it's safe. <laughs> yeah, though, I, I do prefer console practice most of the time. You never want to just stick only with emulator or only with console. They both have their benefits for practicing or testing. There's also the problems of RNG on emulator. If you save state, you'll get the same RNG every time on a lot of stuff. Bad for practice. Some people have thought they found strats for fights only to find out it's because they save stated to get the perfect RNG every time. Thank you, Shy. No problem, Hypernux. Glad my videos helped. Um. That's a good point, Sonic. I'm trying to think of the trade-off. Like, one way or another, you need to hit a certain amount of EXP, so I feel like no matter what... Like, let's say you guarantee you're going to get the Agrabah bulky vendor instead and EXP boot... Well, okay, first of all, that's actually not a good idea, because it's not consistent to get the EXP boost strat, so I don't think that's a good idea. But, like, that is interesting, but I don't think... Like, you still need the EXP anyway, and they're both, like, relatively the same speed to do everything. <laughs> like skipping the aggro but bulky vendor doesn't even save as much time as you think because it takes longer to get the other two I guess that was a good fight. A little bit awkward, but I pulled it off. Level 25 gets you once more, which is uh, definitely a requirement for Thousand Heartless to not turn it into a level 1 fight. Damn, dude, that was crazy. Really good split. So if I... Okay, so... Sub-2450, pretty reasonable to want to try to get that, but... I'm trying to think how comparable this is to Sub-21. 
I think, yeah, it's definitely harder to get sub-25 in this than sub-21 in original 2FM by a little bit. Probably, like, at least five seconds. I think this would have translated to, like, a 2450 or something. Or, sorry, a 2050 in original 2FM. Only time I really lost that was noticeable was the VV clones by, like, six seconds because shitty luck. Uh, yeah, no, split is basically, it's hard to explain, but that timer, I press a button to split on a segment whenever I want to match it up with, like, a fight or something. Like, I have a split coming up where I die in the next fight on purpose to progress it, and I split at the end of that. So I can see if I save or lost time on a previous run. Splits are completely arbitrary, though. Only starting and stopping the entire timer is what matters in a run. <clears throat> so, like, you can have splits anywhere. You can have a split, like, every fucking load screen if you really wanted to. Low P5. Yeah, I don't know, Sonic. I feel like the way we do it now is fine. I'm still not even completely sold on the bulky vendor EXP boost. Like, it really barely saves any time. Sick, dude. That was perfect luck. Obviously much faster to die in that fight on critical than fight it out. It's just, it's crazy that it's not worth the XP, because I could gain a level or two easily, but... Actually, maybe just one level, I think. It's hard to say. It just isn't worth it, though. At least not as much as beginner mode, because it takes way longer to die in beginner mode, and then you just slow down the fights a bit. And this, it would... It's less EXP, basically. Yeah, these grins are, like, still not solidified. Some of them are pretty good now, though. Like, that one I just got, I probably won't beat again. Or, like, I'll tie with it at best, because that one's, like, perfect. Don't do it, don't do it. Bad luck fight, though. Sucks. I feel like the strat doesn't work as well in this version, I don't know why. Dolan just doesn't want to use Thunder on me there, or on the Alberts. This run actually would be pretty good compared to original uh, 2 FM so far, but this fight lately has been kind of wrecking me. Not getting good luck on it recently. Like shit like that is fucking not normal. Okay, that was a pretty good fight. Party members uh, helped out a decent amount there by killing the straggling Alberts. He actually got a kill. Recently I've been having trouble getting Cyclones in this fight too. Not sure if party members are fucking with it or not. Oh, geez. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, 
There we go, dude. I... wow, dude. <laughs> that split is crazy as far as, like, my best, apparently. Finally, the triple worked in 2.5. <laughs> not necessarily, Lou. It, uh, fucking does not really get better until after Olympus. It is better than Roxas, but barely. Because you just, you don't have a lot yet to work with. All we get is like Valor form and now we have Fire. Or Blizzard, rather. <laughs> Now we just gotta sit through like five load screens till we do another vote. Uh, prepare for Leon to kill this entire lead again, because he's really good at that. Thank you, Flight, for the seventh month sub. Seven month sub, not seventh. Uh, much appreciated. I'm sure Sonic has something like that pay. Strat. I, they actually sound really close in either version. They're just as annoying for me. <laughs> Bad. Fucking security system. Ugh, that was an abysmal fight. Oh boy. I can't even, I'm not gonna even make the first jump in Valor probably, no. All that went to shit because of auto-target too. I try my best to target the samurai there, but auto-target's a thing. Renegade, please. Yeah, I legit don't think I'm gonna make the first jump in Valor. That's kind of unfortunate. On the plus side, at least you can still make those, or else that would be a huge time loss to go around the stairs without Valor. That'd be like, potential reset bullshit. Alright, one of the worst fights of the run, let's go. Hopefully I don't have to reset over this, cause pretty good pace so far. Although I'm pretty bad pre valley fight. Sorry, I didn't whiff 5,000 times in a row there. Oh, Leon, no. He's gonna fuck me. Yep. 
There it is. That sucks. Oh, this is so shitty, dude. So this is about as unlucky as you can get without dying in this fight. Oh shit. Thanks, Leon. I wanted to lose almost my entire lead there. What a bro. Ruined my very first dual stance and then just didn't get a good one after that. Oh well. Still ahead, so I'll live with it. If I were going for record attempts in original 2FM at this point, though, I probably would have reset over that. Because that's kind of a douchebag time loss there. Alright, commercial. Oh, we back. That was fast. Yeah, dude, record pace. How crazy is that? Craigasm, craigasm, craigasm. I wonder if I should ban short and Google links. Might have to. Let's see. Or at least time out for now. There we go. Easy peasy. to unmod Albert, he doesn't support my runs. Let's 
sing the last anime you've watched. Could use some good missions right now to balance off a uh, garbage Bailey. Pretty cool. did that whole fight like one at a time but I think that was okay I got a lot of hits I think I should hit Valor level 2 in this fight especially because I well I don't know we'll see it's always hard to tell because you can't really count Alberts were a bit slow, I think, because I got hit. First phase was perfect. First part was perfect, though. This is the mission that matters. Your run could die here so easy for no reason. Coffee was the only thing that trolled a little bit, but only one attack off from a perfect fight, basically. <laughs> Echo, please. Why? Don't do it. Okay, that was a bro Albert right there. with yeah I think there's just a decent missions may save time here there we go good good Mission 2 really saved me there. Okay, mountain climb, be a bro. I'm gonna, I don't know if I like this strat, but I'll try it again. Works like half the time, I swear. Thank you, Mick. Oh. 
Sucks for that strat. Apparently doesn't always work. Not the greatest pattern there either, so, either, so this is just an average climb now. Kinda sucks. It depends, the strat basically only works if the soldier on the right doesn't move at all at the beginning, but half the time he moves, so... I don't know if I want to bother doing that strat anymore, but if it works, it's really fast. Consistency is generally more preferred, I guess. Hey, Kel. Thank you. Hopefully I have a good cave fight to balance that out. Figured that was an early cutscene skip. other than like a shadow trolling for a few seconds. That split is like far from maxed out for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Soaring. screen though. Okay, do not pause here. This is not a cutscene. Yay, I did it. Alright, let me see. How many potions have I used? I think I used one on Bailey and one on the cave, so we're doing pretty well. Invert or normal? You see, it's weird. It's, uh, it's supposed to be normal, but it might be inverted for only you. Like, I remember on Skype, someone told me it was fine, but for me it was showing inverted, so I don't understand what it really is. I honestly couldn't tell you. I mean, I would prefer an RC, but I guess annihilating them isn't a bad bargain either. Sure, kill like 10. Or two. That's almost 10. Not going too well. Alright, I needed that. Eh, that was alright. I don't think I got a lot of bolt tower kills though. Well, this has been a pretty good land of dragons. Oh, ugh, almost Valard. That would not be faster here. <laughs> Fucking 2.5. How dare I try to go fast in 2.5? Oh, 
don't need to buy potions this time, so that's good. I think it's random Sonic. I've had slow loads there before. If anything, it's... Oops, fuck. After the cave fight. I do this way too much. <laughs> it's not like a big deal you gotta do this anyway, but... <coughs> There's no reason to like waste frames opening it early. Although it lets me set up for the menu though, when I quit out. It means I don't have to toggle here. I always tend to like mix up visits and shit. It's kind of weird. Alright, that was a good menu for 2.5. I just felt like improving this. I wasn't doing it to like showcase the good music in it and such. <laughs> and how pretty it looks. My casserole. Oh, almost didn't win. Alright, so I barely hit level 10. Ugh. Hate that. Amigo. Huh. All right, Shen, you be bro. The difference is this is two point five. It is much slower. Otherwise, it's virtually the same. Twenty-five, pretty good. Pause. What the fuck? Hey, Marluxia. Does that count as a swag finish? <laughs> Blizzard finisher. Commercial time. Okay, we back. Yeah, 
Interesting name, Mr. Bars. No, I don't have a stream schedule or certain days. It's pretty much on-the-fly decisions. I try to plan it out like a day or two in advance, but I can never guarantee to have to stick to it. I used to try like streaming schedules, but either something would come up or I would not want to stream on that day because I wouldn't be feeling like a, it would be a good stream day. So I kind of just do it whenever now, unfortunately for some of the viewers that would rather it be planned. So this, that was a really good land of dragons that bounced back really well. Hopefully this Olympus can be just as good. And then that will pretty much negate the bad Bailey, honestly. Or, I already knocked off a good like 10 to 15 off that bad Bailey by having like a crazy land of dragons overall. I mean, I would only upload it to YouTube if it were a good record, but thanks anyway. So this already super fucking long world is even longer in 2.5, which is not fun. And it is also a very big run killer world. <clears throat> Virtually almost every fight could be a potential run killer. Mainly three, though. Very specifically two of them. The third one's a little bit debatable, but... Yeah, it's not fun. First fight and second to last fight of the world are the most trolly. Thanks, Amelia. I'm trying. I will say it does suck to watch Twitch VODs, though. They tend to, like, freeze a lot or, like, buffer a lot and stuff like that. It kind of... I really can't wait until they start using HTML5 for everything, instead of just, like, the controls. Okay, Boulder Troll. Good start to the world. The very first movement tech trolls me. Because it's slower to do Beast Castle first. <laughs> Rip coffee. <laughs> um... The main reason is you don't really get a huge benefit from doing Beast Castle. Like, we don't get almost any EXP at all outside of the Thresholder fight. And the uh, the only good ability we get is, like, Upper Slash, which is barely even that. It wouldn't even really help here, honestly. It'd be maybe useful on, like, a Lancer or something in Hades Escape, but that's about it. Yeah, also getting Hero's Crest will speed up Beast Castle a lot. The world, you also get Trinity and uh, Hero's Crest from this world, so it's much faster. I know it's weird, but it definitely there is a reason. The trade-off is that this world is very difficult to do early. 
Though even with like fire armor on, Hades three shots me with three fireballs. It would be two shot if I didn't have the fire armor. Lancers, as you can see, two shot you too. That strong running lunge attack. So weird, I always get that pattern in 2.5, but in original 2FM he always does the attack. I wonder what the difference is. Like, they didn't change anything, I don't think. I prefer this pattern too, which is the funny thing, it's faster. Well, I mean, to be honest, we don't even use Trinity in uh, Beast Castle, so it doesn't even matter. I think H2 English does, though. Oh, good. Alright, stay there, please. I think he's staying there. That's not what I wanted. Good fight though, overall. Didn't lose any time, sick. This is the most annoying part of the run this world, is the worst. Not, I, Roxas world is pretty shitty too, yeah, but, um, it's more consistent than this world. <laughs> Damn salad, the salt. Yeah, all worlds categories in both 1.5 and KH2 are pretty shit, honestly. Like, the RNG evolved between, you know, Final Form and Hook Ship and stuff like that this is pretty retarded, to be honest. I don't think that's a fun run. Not only that, but you gotta play two really shitty boring worlds, which is Atlantica and Hunter Acre Woods, and then you have to do like stuff like Second Visit, Pride Lands, an extra gummy mission. Two sorry, two extra gummy missions. Ugh, it's awful. A really bad second space paranoids visit. All worlds really does add like the worst of the game in the run sometimes. Like nothing it really adds is good when you think about it. We've gotten Final Form in a speedrun before, but um, it's not necessarily useful in crit when you get it. I don't think it's... I'm not going to say that. Okay, I don't like this at all. Some bad luck. Am I gonna get hit? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm gonna be safe. It's not worth dying here. I'll lose the time. Last time I tried to do this, I almost died. Alright, got him with the first hit at least, lost a couple seconds for it. Potential 5 second time save on that too. Oh yeah, I forgot Sonic found that new Final Form strat on the core. So I guess technically it could be, but... Never bothered testing it.
So I wouldn't do it on if I were to get it in this run, I wouldn't do it. It's incredibly rare anyway. I believe we believe it's less than a 5% chance you'll get it because we only invoke anti-forma once intentionally. So if it happens to be final form, you got like incredibly lucky. I never looked into the master genie strat that you shown. Is it actually like consistent and safer or something? Or it looks like very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they didn't add a limit genie. Like have have them use like Xantatsukin or something. Seems like it would make sense. Could have replaced the genie punch of Valor, because they nerfed the fuck out of that. Uh, yes, Trick, I will stream Cage 3 when it first comes out in 2037. <laughs> Not a bad backup. <coughs> a lot of this is knowing when to attack an extra urn. No, I would not like the slim chance of summoning anti-genie, that sounds awful. It really sucks if there's like a random chance of like either having something really good happen or really bad, like it's never like in between. That's why we're glad we can control anti-form now. Really bad, Jesus. Well, at least it's in a good angle, so that's good. I saved my S. But I get a 104 high, wow, holy shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. First phase can be scary. Ugh. See, that's that's so. The thing about Stitch is that generally you're safe with him at least. It's just he trolls you. I'll look into it though. I guess when I come back to crit any percent, I'm not gonna implement that. Um, I'm not gonna implement that strat into this run for sure. Not this category anyway. I don't know, Salad. I mean, when did Final Form become a thing in All Worlds anyway? It wasn't when I did that run. That run, the only R the only major RNG in All Worlds when I left it was getting MCP uh, without Anti Form. So somebody threw in Final Form in that category, I guess now, and that sucks. I feel bad. <laughs> I want to know the funny thing is in all, in this version, Final Form would be so easy to get. Like in an all world situation, you'd probably just lose like maybe like 20 seconds at most. <laughs> if you got like fifth try, which is worse luck. Let Dial Dolan die during MCP fight. I can see that being a thing. Come on, dude. How do you whiff so consistently, Sora, on these guys? On pace for garbage time, Jesus Christ. I can't attack them, they won't let me attack them. Oh, 
Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, whatever. I'll take a 40. That could have been so much better. Did you miss a PB salad? I thought I saw a tweet going out saying you did PB, but maybe I misread for someone else. Oh well, fuck it. <laughs> Alright, super troll fight. Oh, is that true, Salad? <laughs> what the fuck? sound effect. Yeah, I saw that, Sonic. I don't usually play on console with codes anyway, though. Otherwise, I would save state on console, you know. Or on uh, emulator, rather. I hope I went to drives, or else this is gonna be a shitty start. Perfect fight. Actually, that probably was a perfect fight. shitty water clones it was average it was shitty at the beginning but then i started getting a little bit better luck <laughs> you want to aim for 40 or higher basically anything under 40 is like eh not that good <coughs> usually a time loss from that alone Oh, I didn't get the worst head pattern, but I got probably the middle one, which I gotta get. I gotta be careful on. Don't die, Dolan. Don't. You good? Yeah, 
feel like that ultimate didn't hit anything. Ah, oh, we good, we good. We got out of Olympus with a pretty sick Olympus, honestly. A little bit of time lost there. <clears throat> You can skip that so early in this version. I think Albert auto banned that one, probably. Which isn't going to do anything about it, it's not, because of the dumb way they have where you can make an account pretty much without even using a real email, it's pretty easy to create hundreds of accounts with a bot program, and then send them in chats and shit, Until unless Twitch decides to change that, but their counter to that is that I can turn on the ability to only chat in here if you confirm an email, but I think that would actually block some people out, which I'm not a fan of. So now we have a pretty good pace going. Hopefully we can keep it up. This is exactly kind of the lead I wanted. Bailey though wasted a good like 20 something seconds on me. But other than that, this is a really solid run. Like I'd rather have a trolley Bailey <coughs> than like all of Olympus go terrible. Oh, well, this is my last attempt of today because I got past first try Olympus. Do I dress up for Halloween? No, not really. Dashing. <laughs> Zion will get right on that. Thank you, I hurt moves. See you later. How did I mash there again? And Albert. Yeah, Rebel and I had a pretty uh, brutal breakup. Yeah, I'll just have Kiwi knit me up an Albert costume. Thank you, Revix. Oh, commercial.
Man, bots go hard lately. <clears throat> it's another thing I've added to the ban list. Uh, I'm not. I don't take breaks really, because I do make money off streaming, and it's nice. So, like, it helps me. So I can't really just like stop streaming for a month and take a break, or like casually play on stream or something. But I do have plans. I want to do level one runs in original 2FM. But I kind of want to just get a deathless run in this category first. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, I felt like it wouldn't take more than a week, but it could if I keep dying in runs. See, I don't really remember time saves in Beast Castle. All right, there's like barely any time saves. Don't begin until escorts. Let me see. I killed both of the ghosts, so if I can kill a, a wave or two of bats in Threshold, or I'll be good on EXP. Uh, in a way, it's faster to not shoot stuff because if you kill too much stuff or do too well, you'll get extra blueprints at the end, which you don't want. I'm not sure the exact conditions for them, but. It generally usually revolves around getting treasures, too many of them. I've definitely done level 1 runs before, I've done a couple. RTAs and casually a lot. <clears throat> I already know a lot of the route, it's just I need to actually sit down and practice uh, early game a lot and some of the mid game fights that are different than crit any percent. Yeah, as far as like actually speeding up the mission itself, no, there's nothing. Unfortunately, that you can do because gummy missions are really shitty in this game. Kind of just stuck spinning around in a circle for minutes. In Albert, dude. There we go. At least I got that. walked out too soon. <laughs> Well, yeah, gummy missions are shitty in general, but at least in Cage 1 you can speed them up with modding your gummy ship. In this, there's nothing you can do, and they're longer by a lot. Gummy missions are relatively, like, pretty fast if you speed up your gummy ship in Cage 1. I know it really doesn't show until you, like, speedrun it, but I just don't mind them as much in 1 as I do in 2. In 2, it's literally, like, 3 to 5 minutes of spinning in a circle uh, with not being able to go fast. And it's like, they're not exciting either, you're literally just dodging. I think they just should have not even been included, honestly. They could have come up with something else a little bit more clever. And actually fun. You know, back when Square at least made a couple fun minigames. Instead of, like, nothing. <laughs> They really just haven't nailed down mini games in KH. I don't know why. It's so difficult for them to make fun mini games. Slightly low, uh, slightly faster. No, very faster. Yes, or much faster rather. Uh, this version compared to 2.5 English is 20 minutes faster alone, roughly. We don't have like an exact time, just an estimate.
Well, I killed two waves of bats. That's really cool, I guess. I'll take it. Extra wave of bats, losing like a few seconds to that. No biggie. I can skip the cutscene. Hello, Nolan. Oh, you mean he actually hacked out the English? Yeah. <laughs> that is the reason. It loads the English on top of the Japanese uh, text and audio as far as I have learned from somebody who has looked into the ISO. It's pretty embarrassing on Square's part that they would just fucking be super lazy like that instead of like spend a little bit extra time making something a little better that would have benefited everyone. Cause like it also leads to potential crashes too. It's like it's not fair. <laughs> and just like port a worse version like that and be like, all right, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like you gotta actually like test your shit, you know. Like I said, I feel bad for anyone who has to only play 2.5. Like. It feels much better to play original 2FM, even casually, because like there aren't a billion problems with it that get in the way of having fun. Like if they didn't have new music in this version, like redone orchestrated music, it probably would have no redeeming quality except for accessibility and uh, the graphics. seconds here probably for that shit. Yep. Well, a couple seconds off my best. Apparently my PB wasn't perfect there. Yeah, they, they just don't listen to the fans, it's unfortunate. Which is sad, in the past they have. Like a perfect example is how everyone complained about platforming in Cage 1 and then they just removed it entirely in Cage 2. Wasn't exactly like a good middle ground, but they did listen at least, that the platforming was kind of problematic. Yeah, they, they did with FF10, but I guess Final Fantasy just more is like higher profile, I guess. So they will listen more over that. Like for Final Fantasy 15, they're obviously listening to feedback from the demo and shit. I don't know if that's just a new thing they're finally starting to do and just saying fuck it to Kingdom Hearts for now or what. The menuing is just practice, really. Like I already know what I'm doing going into the menu. And the funny thing is I have to do the menu slower in this version because of uh, dropped inputs. Or menu speed being slower. I'm not sure which it is. I'm too lazy to grind to figure it out. save any time, but uh, at least I got the quick kill. Do I have to manually revert in the next fight? 
Actually, I'm, I'm probably gonna just do the double finisher. I think I might as well. Nah, no, fuck it. I'm not gonna do anything new. That's a bad idea. Beasto. That was a really good beast castle, that was sick. Later zero. Yes, 2.5 JP is faster from load times. Only load times, really. There's a common misconception that it's uh, because of text, but not really. Oh, I just read the name. Yeah, ban him. <laughs> that was a waste of, uh, responding. Cause Sonic is a dude that keeps making ults when he spammed my chat yesterday with, uh, really obnoxious shit. So I don't let people like that chill in here. Olympus is actually very good. The only problem in this run so far has honestly just been Bailey was slow. Not even just Bailey, the pre-Bailey fight was honestly also terrible. Everything else around it has been pretty good. I don't remember exactly what this fam was, it was just like really like 12 year old like trying to be funny kind of bullshit and he kept saying the same things over and over. So I was like, just get rid of him. <laughs> Which apparently is an invite to make another account and try to get back in. I don't remember gel. I think it was decent. Oh wait, no. It depends. Okay, endgame was good except for the Axel fight. And Psyx I think was slow. But I think everything else was good. Like, if I can pull a minute ahead before endgame, then I'll be in good shape. Team skips are hard. Alright, moment of truth. What's my EXP looking like? Alright, pretty good. Not amazing like I thought it'd be, but at least it's good. <laughs> Alright, not bad. For once, Mini didn't get hit by a fucking Albert. <laughs> Yes, it does. <laughs> Still gonna be safe on this. I just don't trust YOLOing this with going in the center or something. Okay, those bull towers just didn't want anything to do with me, I guess. I need a couple more kills and that's it. That's it? Alright, good. Anything now is a bonus, which probably will be nothing at this rate. Oh, nice. Alright, she should be able to make this. Alright, sick. That was really good escorts.
Will I ever stream on Albert's channel? Probably not. <laughs> Pretty much the strats are the same as uh, my crit record in original 2FM. I'm not doing anything like different except for Final Zemnus and Grim Reaper 2 slightly. Final Zemnus has to be done a decent amount different, and I hate it in this version. It is absolutely terrifying. It's easy to push them out of bounds in this version with the strat and <coughs> potential death. Hopefully timeless goes well. I have time to save here, but only if the windows go as they're supposed to. Like I said, Chicken Little in this version scares me for some reason. He doesn't seem to always do his job. Uh, no, record I had two deaths. One was like really fast and the other was uh, a little lengthy, like minute 40 I think. Oops. Thought it was a cutscene for some reason. How slow this version is, I keep thinking I'm like a movement ahead. <laughs> like every world, I swear. Damn it, Albert. Don't learn fake links. I can't really make him- I can probably just ban slashes from him, honestly, so he won't read links at all. I was just trying to avoid that, though, because that does potentially block out some legit shit. Chicken Little still kind of sucked here, but I was able to get away with it. I don't know what's up with him in this version, he just doesn't, like, work there. Later, Lou. He did that. Oh, for God's sakes, I did not want that to be an aerial dive. All right, whatever. It's not a big deal, it just means I have to make sure I do the Port Royal one or else I'm fucked. Potentially. Not necessarily guaranteed. This window was almost a disaster. I almost got hit, but Chicken Little actually did save me there. Oof. 
Okay. Good recovery. Ow. <laughs> Fucking keyboard. Yeah, I'll probably just ban slashes in Albert so that he can never learn like a spam link of any kind. He b he blends uh, most standard links, but those can get through if they're specific, like I guess types. I don't know how to explain it. Where is it? Oh God, fucking Albert! Ah shit! Why? Well, Albert just lost me time here. Well, not really. He lost me potential huge time save, even more. I mean, that was already a free time save. No, I don't think I said that. <laughs> Well, like I said, don't click links in a chat you don't trust. <laughs> That's a pretty dumb thing to do regardless. I don't trust it. I'll lose a little time here to be safe. I wasn't confident that finisher would have killed him there. His voice is beautiful. Ugh. <laughs> Awful, dude. That was cool that I couldn't pause the game for like three seconds there. I'm sure there's literally no reason for that. Yeah, it's either eating inputs or it just doesn't let you pause right away. Like, it might like lock out the pause screen for a little bit. It does that during, like, Gadorg a lot, but then there's, like, one part where it actually, like, lets you pause really early. It's really bizarre and arbitrary. Okay, good recovery. Eh, decent B fight, I guess, so far. I'll take it. Pretty good, uh, timeless overall. I'm gonna get ready to bathroom break, so taking off my headset now and such. Muting.
出発だ Okay, I'm back. Later exit. As you can see, pretty good pace. Uh, <laughs> hopefully no bullshit in Port Royal. I'm really worried about that. That world's pretty shitty to go through. Thanks, Nev. And thank you, Ram, for the host. It says I have zero viewers. Well, that's weird. <clears throat> Hello, Snake. Alright, I have I really hope I get uh chicken little level two or sorry, summon level two in uh Port Royal before the medallion fight or else I'm in a lot of trouble. Renegade, I'll make sure not to bathroom break next time. The power of Albert. I can bots all day now. I wish, like, 
Port Royal 1 visit was just like the second visit, you know, in terms of like consistency and such. Especially because the first half of this world is very consistent and then the fucking second half is a goddamn nightmare. Like it's almost on the level of Port or uh, Olympus. I thought I was gonna get hit by that. That was a weird strat. Hello, Keyblade. Jump, dude. What the fuck? Alright, level two, please. Please, please, please. Nope. I hope I already got it. Maybe I already got it, I just didn't see it because I was doing a fight. I have no idea what Albert knows. Oh yes, the music. Enjoy Port Royal, I guess, guys. I certainly won't be enjoying this world. <clears throat> no bonus ether this time, rough dude. Okay, did I get level 2 summons, or is this going to be a scary fight? I didn't quite see the number. <laughs> So I have, hopefully I get it in this fight, but now I need to be a little careful. I also to get wrecked. Oh fucking goddamn it, dude. I think I did decent there, not perfect though. Hello, AJ. <clears throat> Alright, come on, chicken little, do your job these next two fights. At least I got level two, that's what matters. Hey, you did the thing. Finally, a good fight. Bonus Ether, nice. Even better. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're just watching, yeah, the music's really fun to listen to. But man, is it really not, like, super fun to run this.
Jesus. That was janky as hell. Wonky fight, but it's good enough. Jeez, what the fuck happened here in record? Alright, building up a pretty good lead so far. That's a good buffer for dumb shit that might happen. So far. This is uh, one of the most trolly fights, kinda. It's like you can just randomly die even though all you're doing is reaction commands the whole fight. These fuckers are relentless sometimes. Like that shit, that's so stupid. So there goes one potion. I only have one more in Valor form to fall on. Okay, we safe. <clears throat> Yeah, I made a top seven most trolly, but I forget exactly what they are. Let me see, we got Bailey, Olympus Pete, Hades Escape, that's three. Um, Zigbar, Thousand Heartless, that's five. Medallion Fight, six. I put Berserkers at seven, so Barrels probably would be right under that, but I think Berserkers are worse. <coughs> Because usually you won't ever like die in barrels, it's just very scary because you can potentially die for no reason, like literally no reason. There's nothing to look up, I never posted it anywhere. Alright, this is a pretty fortunate part for him to be in right here. Wonky combo. Alright, pretty pretty good Port Royal overall. Uh, I'm gonna run a commercial now before I get into the next gummy mission, alright? So you can enjoy the music. Automatic timer though. steel metal I don't know what you're talking about Joe I never play Rain Wave when I'm doing a real run. <laughs> Did the commercial end before I even started the mission? That's so dumb. <laughs> 
That's how long it took me to skip the Barbosa cuts to even get into the gummy mission. That's kind of stupid. Hey Sonic, what's your opinion on Sonic? And watch him be like, dude, it's fucking terrible, it sucks, I hate it, dumb series. If my Barbie stream was the best stream ever to you, I don't know what that says about my stream. Probably nothing positive. That's the second scariest gummy mission, and that dude can wreck you to dreads, I guess, if you let him. Definitely have some time to save here, hopefully I do. And the next segments are not much of a time save, last I recall. Need to build up this buffer. I keep this buffer going of time saves. I'll be pretty set for endgame, uh, super trolling aside. I actually wonder how this run would compare to my record in 2FM original. I feel like I'd be pretty close or I'd still be ahead right now. Honestly, it feels like overall is a really good run. Six, damn. Sometimes I can get seven ethers there, and in this version and category, I probably would have preferred it because I do need uh, two ethers for finals on this. Otherwise, I am screwed. <laughs> menu. Hopefully grinding goes well. Sometimes I grinding just sucks here. And by grinding I don't mean sitting there just killing a bunch of shit. I mean like some enemies here and there. I hate menus in this version. It's just, it sucks to be slightly slower. I can't go as fast as I can on menus as I can in the original version. Jesus Christ, that was shitty. Uh, I don't know what stops that Luna Bandit from spawning half the time. I'm really like, when I come back to this category, I'm definitely looking into that more. 
I think I can just skip that guy, that wave right there and go inside the uh, mouth cave thing and get all the kills there. Like, I think Bloody does that instead of this room, but I'm thinking about skipping the previous room because it's super troll. Like, 90% of the time, I never get good luck there. Okay, at least that went well. I'd prefer not to get hit, but I don't think I can get one-shotted with this. I don't think anything drops serenity crystals in this version. You have to get them from a bulky vendor or uh, synth them, I believe. I'm trying to think. Pretty sure that's the case. Or chests have them. One might be a puzzle reward too, if I recall correctly, but I'm blanking. Bright crystals? Oh. Uh, let me think. Isn't it Neo Shadows? I think Neo Shadows drop. Feel like you should never be short on those, basically. Of course. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Stupid ice cube enemies. Not a very good falling segment, but whatever. Alright, let's see if something happens here again. Lately, this guy has been trolling me. I'll take it. Would have been a 55 if the first two tiers were a little bit luckier, but better than getting like trolled on other tiers. Later, Zion. I'm pretty sure Neo Shadows dropped Bright Crystals and Lucid Crystals last I remember. Uh, so if you're synth grinding, there's Neo Shadows everywhere. You should be getting like billions of them. If anything, it's like bright gems that are really hard to get because uh, aerial knockers and something else drop them, and aerial knockers are not common. As they're only in a couple rooms, pretty much, in uh, Pride Lands. understand why it does that. Oh shit. That was good timing, I almost got fucked there. Kind of a not great uh, treasure room fight, but hopefully this kills and I'll be good. Not sure why those guys were not retaliating. That could have been like a few seconds faster, but I guess no need to nitpick, I didn't lose time.
but segment is potentially the run killer a lot. There's no like single run killer segment. Anything could be a potential death if things go wrong. Some of them mostly your fault, others not so much. Sloppy fight, I don't really like how this has been going. Alright, I'll take it though. Overall good Agraba, just not amazing, but uh, no need to nitpick. Thanks, S. Northy. Yeah, kind of what Sonic said, and then there's others that are pretty close to that, like End of Hades Escape, or, um, what else am I thinking of? Oogie, yeah, that's another big one, who's coming up. Oogie Death could be massively time-consuming, because it's a not-fast fight. Basically, any fight that's long and is hard to get back into, or tricky, is uh, <coughs> kind of a bad place to die. Uh, I'll run a commercial now. is like 60% I guess. <laughs> You're stuck on Port Royal on critical mode. The first one, yeah, that's a pretty brutal world. All I can give you for advice is use Blizzard a lot, or magic in general, but Blizzard's very strong against them. Chicken Little is good crowd control, and then Blizzard is good at, like, wrecking them. Those two bits of advice should get you through it without a problem. Well, without a ma major problem. I'll probably still randomly die, I guess. guitar goes hard in this song. Love it. But no, man. Most Cage players prefer the original OSC. Some guy on YouTube said so. I believe him. He speaks for everyone, dude. Just because it's orchestrated does not mean it's better, so therefore it's automatically worse. Thank you, Critical. I hope 2.8 is good so I can do it soon. 
I, I am getting 2.8 when it comes out, but I'm not guaranteed to play it on stream if it's awful. Like, if they fix nothing in DDD, I don't want to play it. If I have to balloon spam to play the game, like, well, it's not worth playing. Damn, that feel when someone calls me BB. Man. Guys, and you're apologizing for being late to the stream. It's killing me, dude. Well, they have to change it, so it is hopeful that they have... Like, see, with this, they didn't have to change anything. Like, it's the same game. So there was nothing to fix. I mean, they made shit worse with the port, but... They didn't, like, intentionally change it. With DDD, they have to fix... It's basically a remake, like they said, so... One would hope they would, you know, fix the balance issues. Kind of like, you know, when they made 2FM originally and they fixed the ability balancing issues and stuff. There's a weird sound coming from the right speaker in the stream. I don't know. I can look into it later, but I have silence detection on, so hopefully X split uh, didn't fuck something up. I'll listen to it later, though. Anyone else hear audio issues? Kiwi says no. Got the quick end there. And <laughs> it looked perfect. Well, my headset's directly plugged into the game audio, and I really don't hear anything. And I have a good headset, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> To me, that sounds like it might be your headset, but I'll listen to my archive after. Yeah, I don't hear anything. It's not the game for sure. Shut up, Light. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Orin. If everyone else says, it, says it's fine and I don't hear a problem, then... I don't know what to tell you.
Oh, is that the case, Dar? That's weird. All right, barrel first. I don't know if I hit the barrier. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I did. Well, I don't know how. That was pretty lucky. Got so high in the fucking air, I couldn't like catch him. <laughs> ah, this might be a swag kill. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, it sucks that Twitch gives problems with ads because they want us partners to run them and such. <clears throat> you think they would put more attention to making them work properly, you know? Oh, Jesus, those fucking emerald blues almost blocked my path. Pretty good lead so far. <coughs> Just gotta remember, I do have automatic time losses in a uh, Owl Bastion Three. I gotta be careful about. Well, it's probably this fight, knowing me. Yeah, something bizarre happened in the carpet fight, so I ended up dying. I looked into it, and I have a backup now for it. If that shit happens again. Unless I forget it, I could forget it. I think this is pretty good luck. Part of the fight. Please don't give me an armor blue. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, Jesus, fuck, dude. Got lucky there. See, it's free as hell to deal with them if Chicken Little does his job, but sometimes he just doesn't. Oh, 
Carry. Couldn't get lucky enough on that, but oh well. Really good fight though. Only one small troll here and that's it. That was a sick fight though. Got the one frame trick too. That's pretty scary now. A lot of troll fights after troll fights and such. Troll mini games too. Hopefully, I can try to keep this lead. It would suck. I, like I can lose this entire lead on light cycle if I were to die. You know, that's what's rough. <coughs> Exactly how I feel, Albert. Excuse me. All right, that sucks. Fucking dude. I almost died. I have no idea what happened there. I think sometimes they just randomly don't get caught in the RC, <clears throat> even if you bump into them. Wish I knew why. Fortunately, they DM'd at the same time, so I was able to catch him. Otherwise, that would have been quite the disaster of a fight. <clears throat> Thank you, Osama. We got past Berserker, is good. We get to relax a little bit until Light Cycle. Yes, Japanese Dolan indeed does sound like he's puking half the time. Kind of annoying. Yo. 
Welcome back, Morton. I haven't been hit by the books in a while, but <clears throat> sometimes they do snag you, so I always worry there. Fucking <laughs> Albert. Renegade, please. Getting old now. <laughs> Some of these cutscenes, I'm just not used to skipping early, so I'm kind of like just testing it in a way. Thanks, Gage fan. Yeah, I don't think I ever got around to making a Leon command, I don't know. It'd pretty much just be like, go fuck yourself, Leon, and that's the end of the command. Thank you, Mr. Apple. Almost the worst place it could have been in, but no biggie, I guess. Just movement. <laughs> uh, I think they would have had to change more than just... I don't know, fuck it. <clears throat> now I'm too lazy to talk about mechanics like that right now. Kinda taking a break from original 2FM, yes. I'm not really feeling up for going for a 341 at the moment. I wanna kinda do level one, but I wanna solid try to solidify this record. I won't do it I won't do attempts forever, but I want to give it a good week or two at most for this if it needs it. Although it'd be nice if this is the run, because this is a pretty good run. <laughs> but there's always usually something pretty big size that goes wrong in a run, so... <clears throat> as long as it's not a long death, I don't really care, I guess, though. 
Good old late cycle time. Yeah, lots of shit like that. Light is stupid in cage one. Ugh. I don't know what they were thinking when they did that. Okay, decent. Thank you, Superman. Safer to just do that. I don't know if that guy can ever throw up his shield fast enough where my keyblade gets repelled after he does that little thing he does. Okay, everything just died, that's cool with me. Perfect life cycle, nice. I don't know if the left way is actually shorter, but it's a lot of more it's a lot more turns, so therefore it's more safe. Paper or whatever. <clears throat> All right, so ditch grinding time. Stitch, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? Are you kidding me? What a way to lose like five seconds. That is so rare that he does that. With like me being at full HP. Oh well. So the very first thing that involves Stitch in this run, he immediately trolls. That's a little scary. Cool. Good to see this still works. Oh. Maybe it's a 2.5 thing, I don't know. Oh, good. Thanks, Stitch. Wow, this is slow, dude. I can't get enough orbs, this is fucking bullshit, dude. Wow, this is so bad. Thank you, Stitch, for fucking me here as well. This needs to be like the sickest grinding to pull this off. I don't know if that's a 2.5 thing, because ever since I came back to this, now the second wave never spawns properly. I don't know if I should look into that or not now. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay. Uh, I was able to save it a bit, but it's still a little bit of a time loss for that. <clears throat> Which fortunately saved me two ethers. That's the only plus in that. I would have been able to recover earlier too in that, but Sitch separated those three spawning enemies together that I always like killed together. Like the second he they spawned, he kind of just knocked them far away and kind of like rip after that. Hopefully we can have a good hustle program and then I'll be like, whatever, I'll just tank the time loss. It won't be too bad, probably, because I did still end it like roughly 10 seconds early, so it's not like it went the time. FM again. I just, it's not as fun of a run for me as 2FM is. That's better. Good with the finisher, because that's cool to do. Oh, <laughs> that's so dumb, dude. With the finisher, lose like. I lost 10 seconds basically for that, and then another like 12 for the stitch grinding. <clears throat> that sucks, because I, wa I want a big buffer for a thousand heartless, because I don't really have time to save there. Pretty unlucky. Kinda sucks. Aerial finish probably wouldn't even whiff there, but it's slower, so it's not worth having on for most of the run. <clears throat> we literally put it on for only like a few fights, really, in the whole run. Otherwise, it's not faster. Oh, that's true, Ram. That's a pretty interesting observation, I guess. Not much time to save in this world from here on out, so <clears throat> gotta get a little lucky to not lose it like 30 plus seconds, basically. <clears throat> I don't need to be ahead at the end of this segment to like get record, but sub 420 won't be looking too good. If oh my god, really, dude. This is about as unlucky as you can get for this. Wasting an ether bucket. Uh, okay. Thank God for iframes, I guess. My only chance there was to waste an ether, or else I would have had a hilariously slow fight. Auto target selected uh, Arbored Knight like way uh, next to me instead of like the group of enemies. Auto target troll, basically. So I basically balance out for using an ether on stitch grinding because I didn't use any there, so I still only have one spare technically. <coughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Alright, I'll take it. Pretty good dancers, at least. Scary segment time. This world from here on out is terrifying, basically. I doubt there's just a lot of time loss, especially after Demi. I feel like I killed nothing. Now I killed too much. <laughs> Whatever. Can be fine still. One twenty five, okay, fine. Oh, I got level three literally on that. That means I was like one EXP off. That's supposed to be a double finisher, but I guess the game dropped it. Oh well, I'll take it. <clears throat> Could have been a little better, but at least I didn't die, I guess. <laughs> it picking at this point. I keep doing that. I keep like mixing up my party menu. Fucking Yuffie. It's actually like more troll than I give her credit for. Ah, uh, okay. That was delayed. Not sure about that. <clears throat> I don't know test strats for the UV fight, but probably not very viable. That kind of sucks. the last two either. That sucks even more. God damn it, dude. These are like so slow. I'm gonna lose what, probably a good chunk of time here. None of them have really went that they're the way they're supposed to.
Okay. Cloud is pretty decent at least. What the fuck, camera? Ouch. <clears throat> A little bit of time loss there, unfortunately. Does Magna right before the RC? Uh, that almost sounds actually possible, but I doubt it's consistent at all. Anything involving soldiers is technically not consistent at all. Alright, so this is the worst fight in the run, and uh, hopefully it goes well or else I could die for no reason. Jesus. Not a good way to start almost getting ripped immediately. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking really, dude? This, this is extremely troll. I'm practically almost dying. Every single RC I do. Oh. Come on, dude. Stop doing that. I need to get away from this guy. He's a cancer bot. The Kyle, I guess. I need a Steve. <coughs> Okay, sure. <clears throat> I'll take it. That was kind of a risky guard. I had no idea where it was going to go. I need to kill more than that on that RC, dude. Kind of like that. That's better. Okay, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take that, dude. Dude, I, t I tied it. <laughs> Sick. <clears throat> Beginning was a goddamn train wreck, but then I got, like, amazing luck for the rest of it. Alright, being 140 ahead here is very good, at least. Not the most graceful Hollow Bastion 3 I could have had. <coughs> but I'll take it. My deaths in record were wisdom form grinding and lost like 15 seconds, and then axle fight I lost like a minute 40 to a really dumb end of the fight death. So we're absolutely still on sub 420 pace. But uh, there's no such thing as being safe on crit, so I'm not getting too excited yet. But Sora, I think. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, in Hollow Bastion 3, basically, I lost like 20 seconds to stitch grinding plus hostile program, maybe 25, and then, uh, lost probably a good 10 to 15 on Final Fantasy fights, but everything else was fine, so I'll take it. Thousand Heartless could have uh, super trolled me with the way that beginning was. So that was basically, I think, almost a sub two minute fight, which is really good for crit. <clears throat> Obviously, definitely gonna need the bulky vendor strat. Oh shit, perfect luck. Wow. 
Yeah, that was a fast end. I think that had potential to like end uh, before Trinit. Oh fuck it, who cares? be able to get all the bulky vendors. Oh jeez, that was scary. <clears throat> So that was a good menu. It should potentially save time here. Yep, free time save. Not sure how, but I'll take it. So, that's right, Grim Reaper 2 I need to be a little bit safer on if I don't want to die on this version. Well, that's it. That's an early cutscene skip in this, apparently. I didn't know that. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do want Deathless sub 20, but if I were to have a super short death, I would obviously fucking just live with it, because screw running this game to have Deathless if I only lost like 15 seconds to it when I lose like 20 seconds to stitch grinding and shit like that. But hopefully I can get Deathless in this run. If I get a Deathless record on this run, I might just be say fuck it. Although I really do want sub 420 because it's so doable. Thanks, Mushroom. That was Barbosa, what? He was fine. to do like a thing there so I can reflect it but he doesn't always do it. Or sure I guess whatever. What the fuck is this RNG dude? <laughs> this 
so dumb. <clears throat> that was an unnecessarily t unnecessary time loss. Yeah, exactly. I would prefer my record to not be a meme, so, you know, it'd be nice to get sub 420. Just skip the 420 in general, it'd be great. Oh, Jesus, go. Alright, the XP boost, yay. We need to. Floating Sora slightly? Yeah, slightly floating Sora. Yeah, I would say Port Royal's better than Atlantica musical, I agree. Even in the speed run. <laughs> like Atlantica may be consistent in a speed run, but goddamn, is it so boring. Why did I pause there? If I get a deathless sub 420 record in this, yes, I'll do level one next. I hate that. I have to wait until the medallion like falls perfectly on the ground to be able to pick it up. It's kind of annoying. Thank you, Alpha Fix, for the 10 month sub, dude. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, excuse me. What the fuck was that? I just attacked and did nothing. Oh, those are pretty bad gamblers, man. I don't like this. I don't like where this is heading. Oh, that's right. I have to go up against good presents, too. Ugh, that's not good. Uh, I think level 1 probably does have a way to deal with it, but I don't know what it is offhand. I'm pretty sure I've done it. Casually, at least. I'm sure Speedrun can do it too. Oh, why am I not at full HP? Huh? Oh, that's right, the gambler hit me. Well, that sucks. So happy. Alright, so this is where this fight sucks. I have to do two grounded thunders instead of an aerial thunder to get all of them out, so then he has time to pick them up. If I'm unlucky. Alright, he was a good boy. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude. That could have been a death. For like, no reason. Other than 
Sora grabbed a ledge for some reason. I don't think that hit the barrier, so I'll have to attack him again. There we go. Alright, they're at full HP, I'm surprised, but this is kind of a slow, sluggish fight. Excuse me. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh no. That was scary. Alright, okay, Gaffy's a bro at least, but shit, that was fucking stupid. I have no healing, so... Yeah, this is really bad. I got through it. I could have died though at any time. <clears throat> what happened? I wish I knew. Something about his model must have pushed me away, but that strat has never failed until there. It's funny how all this stuff that like never fails seems to happen on 2.5 only. Yeah, I didn't have to do it, Goffy, because he did it before I needed him to. So I actually did save an Ether on there, which is nice. I should be great on Ethers, especially for this next world, but or not next world, the one after, but still kind of sketchy. It's kind of dumb. I, I feel like it might have been in part because of the pause buffering throwing off the timing. Pause buffering legit fucking can get in the way of strats. Same thing with the Olympus Pete, how you have to kind of like know, and same with the Axel fight. Where pause buffering can get you killed if you do it wrong. Yeah, I think there's more subtle differences than we let on when we say there's only like two fights that are different. Technically, it's more than that. It's just very minimal and hard to notice. So I played it really safe. I think this is gonna whiff. Oh, maybe not. Alright, I'll take it. That Reflex Red is really scary, though. <clears throat> Speaking of scary EXP boost strats, on bulky vendors. Like, if I die in this, I pretty much lose the run because I can't really recover EXP wise from it because I'll lose the bulky vendors, like, legit both of them. Stitch fucked it up, okay. No biggie then. Gotta do normal strats. I don't know how I got hit there. Well, I wish I would have got hit maybe a little bit sooner. Alright, so I'll probably just have to get the aggro bow on now. No biggie. Well, I don't like that strat. I think it's not worth it, honestly. I think I should just always get the Agrabo one, but I just haven't side-by-side -side it yet to test it.
Uh, 2,000... Uh, no, I still need to grab it, yeah. Not unless I EXP boost on the carpet, which I'm definitely not doing. At least not intentionally. <clears throat> Alright, so I built up another good buffer by skipping that, I guess, for the next stupid minigame that'll probably be bad luck. This minigame was, like, perfect in record, and, uh, usually it's not perfect. Because, you don't, Peter Pan's Limit isn't really useful outside of that, because we can just magnet instead. If we got him earlier in the run, it'd be great. Where is he? What the fuck, dude? Oh. Oh shit. Hello. Shit. Come on, dude. Give me some decent boxes. Are you kidding me with this one by one bullshit? And there goes time. <coughs> So that's basically like a 35-8 range, I think. It is uh, not that great, but not too bad, but not as good as my records. <coughs> Chicken Little can cause inconsistencies there. It is definitely... Peter Pan's just more consistent. That's basically the summary. You could do Dance Call too, but it's a lot scarier on Crit. I'll take it. A little bit of trolling with the aerial dives. I prefer aerial spirals because it's easier to buffer and link up for safety, but... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Later, Ram. Thanks. Yeah, we still pan, Cyx. Alright, so this is where Runs died yesterday. Hopefully that's not the same thing now. I didn't mean to quit out of the menu all the way. Pause though. This room switching to Keyblade. Game can't handle changing a Keyblade. But PS2 version, no problem. <laughs> yep, that would have been her.
only this was regular final mix, you'd be done by now. Not really. fight usually goes perfect, every now and then it won't. The next fight though, oof, scary. What killed me last time? category is an original 2FM crit. That is by far my favorite. I almost wasn't looking and went right into the wall there. That would have been silly. Fortunately, I see it coming now. I didn't get hit. Sometimes I will hit you for sure, which is very annoying. <clears throat> I don't think that'll ever happen, Webhead. I just don't have the time or motivation to do that. Or even attempt it. Okay, I got past the scary part of the world, that's good so far. Not that we can relax yet, but uh, not as terrifying. If this keeps going well, I could be like three minutes ahead after Axel, but that's only if it keeps going well. Uh, I'll probably go back to 1.5 eventually, I just don't really care right now about it. I'm having more, way more fun with 2FM than I ever did with 1.5. 1.5 is just frustration because just, I don't know, it's just, the beginning is fucking terribly boring and then half the fights you don't have control over. That's why every runner of 1.5 hates the game.
I really don't know, Webhead. Check the leaderboards, I guess. To me, the number doesn't really mean anything, though. At that, though. Spike informs me that I have to sub have to submit individually for AGDQ if I were to want my to do a run or something. I don't really get this. Also, eight seconds gone there. Ouch! Probably from the bulky vendor. Hello, Shibo. Streaming about 2.8. Mm. Pretty sick fight. Thought so? Alrighty, not bad. Now I feel like I might actually just. I, if I have to submit it individually for AGDQ, I might as well just do it and do Proud 1.5. We're under the assumption we want to get 1.5 in instead of 2FM, but uh. I don't know. It's kind of weird that they won't accept the community pitch anymore. That's kind of stupid, actually. Makes no sense. The sad thing is I wouldn't... I'm not even, like, guaranteed to go anyway. Because it just depends if I'm going to be part of a run or not. Otherwise, I'd rather save my money completely for RPG Limit Break. Especially because I'll probably just get the worst time slot again anyway. Nope. Wonder what Sonic's gonna say. Stay tuned. Oh, come on, dragons, really? Oh, 
scary. All three teleporting one after another was ridiculous. They can hit you out of reflect like that. I think it cared way too much about records, Webhub. But yeah, Sonic, I saw the tweet. I guess I'll submit 1.5 Proud. Bloody can probably do beginner or something. Or standard, even. There is, I don't even know if he's gonna bother then. <laughs> Zaldin fight. It probably just was a little time for the Dragoons or save a lot. I don't remember what happened in record. This was a decent split though, regardless. Oh, alright, sure. <laughs> I see. I'm actually mostly against races and uh, GDQs because I think um, unless they're super close, there's no point in doing them. Especially like they're really bad in RPGs. I think because unless you're like super close, it's really hard to keep up. I feel like it's like that way with Super Metroid, honestly. But it's still a hit for them, so they do it anyway. But it's like honestly pretty hard if you've never played the game to tell who's even winning because <laughs> everything looks the fucking same. I don't think I don't think 1.5 even if it was beginner would make a good race for the I would not really want that but whatever gets accepted gets accepted I don't know I just don't like the idea of like us trying to showcase like cool strats and stuff and taking away from that by uh, having a race where it's all about whoever's winning instead Thank you, Morton. See ya. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Mega. Uh, it's just, I don't think it's a good idea, but you never know. Well, like, I don't know. Beginner is pretty close, but what if Hookship doesn't show up multiple times or something, then suddenly there's not even, like, a close race, even if the people are matched in skill. <clears throat> That was a generous time for Riku to not attack. Jeez, he did that attack the whole time. <coughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, I would never also support like a 2FM career race or proud or something in 1.5. I think those would be terrible ideas for a marathon. Because <laughs> like one death completely changes the who's in the lead and shit. And then it's like really hard for casual people to keep up with who's winning. Because it's not like they know the route. <laughs> oh yeah, 1.5 has crashes, but that's, yeah, that's true too. That's also true because, like, obviously, um, if it's not a race, we can just have saves to load up if it crashes, but if it's a race, then it's pretty much rip. I don't like that one Super Metroid race where that guy died and he kind of just sat there and did nothing the rest of the race, which is like, ugh. That's really shitty to be in that position. I don't like that. Oh boy. I don't want this to kill. Like, the bolt towers are guaranteed dead, of course, but I might have to kill these guys manually. Yeah, 252 is probably not gonna do it. I actually got a lot less than I thought. What the fuck? I got the money at least. Alright, sick. Thank you. Not sure what happened there, that was bizarre. I think it took too long for the I don't know, maybe it took too long for the limit. 
And I just didn't notice until it was too late. <laughs> Well, those are my thoughts, basically. People don't have to agree with them, but that's just the way I view it based on experience in the marathon and watching it and such. Mate. Yep, though. Also Mate. bit slow there, yeah, lost 11. That was also mostly for the Trinity fight. I don't remember if I got the Storm Rider strat in record or not. Uh, later Nolan, no big deal. I don't expect people to always stay for the whole stream. I didn't run a commercial, so he might have loaded the screen or something. Shitting me. <laughs> Fucking 2.5, are you kidding? Welp. That was a thing. Not consistent. And by the way, I'm not gonna say that was consistent. <clears throat> so I have yet to get that in a run in original 2FM, but first try I go for it in 2.5 and I get it. So I did the wrong strat at the beginning, because I'm dumb, and uh, I did that strat instead mid-fight, and it still killed him. And I don't think that strat's faster, but at least I got something, you know. I had to do that, or there was no way I was going to save time there. Alright, commercial time. If you know the game, if you know the gummy missions well, it's not hard at all to S rank most missions. Only some X missions and mission 3s could be hard to S rank. Well, mission 3s are mostly for the treasures, honestly, that are hard to figure out without doing it like five times in a row. S ranks themselves, other than X missions, though, are pretty easy. With a do especially with a, obviously a donut gummy mission. Sorry, shit.
Yeah, one of the missions. Well, I don't know. There was a lot less than that, though. I think there was honestly there was only like three hard missions in one of them gummy missions. Like the one that involves Atlantica, Hollow Bastion not getting hit, and uh, I think there the final gummy mission was also a bit tricky. But otherwise, they were pretty easy. This one, if you know what you're doing, is also pretty easy. But if you don't, it's like you're never gonna like figure it out. The game doesn't really help you in building like a donut ship or anything. I hate Mission 3s, by the way. They're so stupid. They're terrible design. Basically, okay, here's the funny thing. It's like, alright, so the game lets you control the camera. Cool, right? That's fine. Good mechanic. But then they ruin it by, like, giving you warning messages everywhere. It's like, it gives you warning mes message from behind. You're like, okay, I gotta turn around and kill whatever's behind me. The second you turn your camera, it warns you again for what you just ignored in front of you. It's like, what do you want me to do, game? Do you want me to shoot everything in front of me or behind me? And get, that makes getting all the treasures, too, in one go near impossible without exactly knowing what you're doing. And even then, I don't think it's consistent. <laughs> That's one reason no one does 100% cage 2 runs. <laughs> Gummy missions, mission 3s are retarded. Uh, it's this bad at one part, but X. The part where you gotta squeeze through the wall, that's that shit's hard. But after that, it's not too bad. I don't know. It, it took me, I think, like 40 minutes or so to... Okay, right, let me pay attention. <laughs> to, um... Do all the gummy missions on 1FM, where I sat down and, like, tried them. Only a couple took me, like, a good 10 tries or more. Gummy missions in this game take fucking forever, though, because they're just long. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, that's the problem with it, though, Mega, is that it's just bad design to do that. It makes it really unfun. And a lot of times, the uh, treasure enemies are like the opposite direction of the warning enemies, so... That's a pain. So you either like get annihilated by whatever's in front of you, or turn to kill like one enemy for a treasure, maybe. God, I hated Mission 3's when I did my KH 200% run. Ugh. <clears throat> That's one reason I never want to do that run if I can avoid it. It sucks, because I probably would have done an original 2FM 100% before, but X missions and Mission 3s are not worth the time. Some of the X missions uh, where you have to use the pre-made uh, blueprints are fucking stupid. That's not exactly my argument, Mega. It doesn't matter that it's bad for a speedrun, it's just bad. <laughs> just planning it out a million times in a row is, uh, by going through it many, many times is not good design. When nothing else does that. Basically just an excuse to get you to play it multiple times, which is a really dumb game design mechanic. I don't know if donuts were intended, or like the whole not having anything in the center as a hitbox like causes it to whiff you or anything being intentional, I really don't know. Oh hey Elmo. I haven't seen you in here in a while. I've been busy. <laughs> oh, fucking Mickey, dude. So Mickey did that thing that ruins the fight a little bit. Did Mickey just like ruin my combo?
Yo, Stitch, the thing you do. Oh boy. Going great. Sick partners in the fight, yo. Oh, I'm losing at least 10 seconds here, probably. Well, at least I caught it in time. Ah, oh, that was a slow fight. Okay, I didn't lose as much, but whatever. Eh, we'll see, I'll know. Zero viewers again. Sick. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a three hour after party of this is record. I'll just. I don't have the saves on this file or this game to uh, do much other than Dead Org level one and Sephiroth there. Level one. Everything else is uh, on my other version. <laughs> Dazwa is a pretty big troll, so that's not surprising. Wow, the slow time. <laughs> Fucking after fix. Come on, game, you can do it. Yeah. There we go, it loaded finally. Alright, so this is the split in record that was absolute garbage because I died at the very end of the Axel fight because that fight randomly kills you. Alright, that lag though. <laughs> Alright, scary fight time. Hopefully I don't die or else rip. I won't be happy with the run even if it's record. I need a deathless, like, non two minute time loss record. Also, I think this fight's worse in 2.5, but I don't know for sure. Have fun, I guess. Fucking take it, dude. Sick. That was a really good fight. Uh, Axel did his very best to screw me over, though, with those attacks, but I saw them coming. <laughs> that sucks, Sonic. Alright, let's try not to lose that free time save. Okay, it wasn't 140, apparently, it was two minutes. Yeah. Alright, unfortunately from here on out, I don't have any more deaths, but I do have a free time save on Sayak, so... <clears throat> we'll see what happens, I guess. But first, I gotta get past this fucking next two fights are pretty scary. Yeah, I wiped out the splits, and that's why it was a two-minute grin. I literally only got there once on these splits.
Perfect luck fight. <clears throat> I was very safe on the early combos though to make sure they connected because I don't have a strat if they whiff really. This is your favorite fight? Oh, I hate this fight. It is. I think it's a pretty poorly designed fight, honestly. More so the data fight, I guess, though, than that one. I haven't been really reading what you're saying because I've been kind of busy. Oh, fuck. menus are hard. Menus are hard. Yeah. I hope I put aerial finish on. If anyone saw it, let me know. I need to know before Zigbar, but I'm pretty sure I did. But I was too busy wondering why I was out of AP to make sure. I really hate that menu. I almost want to switch it up. It might be a smarter idea than having a shitty menu every time there. Hey, Chaos. like Sonic, I just didn't see if I equipped it. <laughs> also, sideways H is a weird way to say I. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Optifix beat me to it. I just didn't see if I equipped it because I did it too fast. <clears throat> but we'll find out in a second. <laughs> I didn't know he can change shots like that. Nice, I got the fucking five or three bars too. That was perfect.
Good old lag after changing a keyblade. Alright, so... That's two of the scariest fights in the run done. Roxas is... He's kind of scary, I guess, just because, like, one mistake is they're probably dead. There's not really many backups for that. <clears throat> Zigbar is just scary because, like, a billion things can go wrong, while Roxas is usually consistent. Oh, yeah, you are reading three minutes wrong. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we get to Luxord. I kind of hope this is the run. I want this, uh... I don't know if I want to do 2.5 crit anymore after today, if this isn't it. It's like, it sucks to get this far and something go wrong. <clears throat> Especially because Final Zem, this is like completely new to me in this version, as far as like strats go. I'm not sure guy numbers, I'm too distracted to think about the answer to that. I'm sure it's obvious though. Fuck, dude, what is this lock? That sucks. This is gonna be a slow fight now. Fuck it, I'll just take the DM. At least I didn't go limit. I do not understand that. <clears throat> you should have not- you don't break out of Trinity, it's fucking add zero revenge value. So oh, an annoying time loss. God, it's so slow it's throwing me off. I can't even do the- oh, that sucks. Ouch. So, he broke out of Trinity for no reason. <clears throat> that sucks. Well, okay, whatever. That could have been definitely worse if I went limit at the end. Well, I can make all that back if Psyx goes perfect, so I'm not going to be risky like last time and try to do the other strat, I think, that doesn't work in this version because of the summon load time being too long, <clears throat> allowing Berserk Bar to charge more. Get 
Be safe. Wow. Oh god, that took so long, you almost fucking DM'd. <coughs> I need to like pause buffer that, I think. Alright, I just made all that time back, so, okay, cool. <clears throat> now if I can just have a good resume this one and final boss fight so we have a good record. <clears throat> I don't think this run would be ahead of my 2FM original record at this point, though, but, yeah, whatever. I'm not going for a synced up record type deal there. Oh, what the fuck, beginner mode. All right, that was my last big time save, I think. So I can keep this, if I keep this pace, you can already pretty much predict what I'm gonna get. Oh. Okay, that's not what I pressed. Note to self, don't try to do menus too fast in 2.5. I don't remember Dill, honestly. <clears throat> I don't remember much from my record I got in this because I got it kind of out of the blue. People ask if you're gonna speedrun something when you know nothing about it. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to ask. Answer should be obvious. All right, remember the different strat. I also just want to do save strats here, but nah, I did them in record, the risky strat. I don't want to lose unnecessary time just because I'm a little bit concerned about this strat. That is not where I want to be. Can we get maybe a little bit away from the stairs? That'd be great. Oh, okay. I wonder what, if there's a way to stop him from going to the side like that. I think I know why. It's probably because Horizontal Slash does it. Hey, Dean. Thank you. Maybe I shouldn't do it. It is extra damage, but if it sends him near that direction, that's a little bit slower than what I could have gotten there. Alright, I gotta check ethers in this version. Nine, holy fuck. Nine plus four, dude. Sick. <clears throat> I have a, literally 5,000 ethers in my inventory. That's awesome. 
I can go completely ham for the rest of the run and not care. <clears throat> I definitely got really lucky with Ethers this run, not having to use too many extras. <clears throat> I love how you, the game like has Sora say make some kind of like attack emos there in the distance, even though it's like right in front of the screen. Good job there, Square. Oh, good. <laughs> That, it, didn't it happen exactly last time on Final Bosses, too? I think it did. Yeah, thank you, Cyber. I'm fucking stoked for Final Zem this to probably kill me. I'm not plugging it in, there's no reason to. I should have way more than the final boss fights left to, you know, not worry about it. Plus, plugging, I don't like plugging in my controller while playing because sometimes it just disconnects for no fucking reason and I hate that. Like, I can't play if it's gonna disconnect at random. Because then, like, I could be doing a dodge or something and then it disconnect and then I'm dead. Because then it takes a little bit to get it synced up again. I'm not sure exactly if it's the wire or controller is called or PS3 there, but yeah. Yeah, it should at least be 30 minutes, maybe more. Stitch, you need to fucking be a bro here. Don't be an idiot. Oh, he's being an idiot already. That's not a good sign of things to come. There we go. Do it, Stitch. Come on, dude. Oh, no. Uh, can we get back over here, maybe? Thank you. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was not gonna go anywhere near that fucker when he fell on the ground. Alright, at least that uh, wasn't absolutely awful, so I'll take it. Hey, when this thing goes upside down, or upside down, <laughs> up and down, I can't like continuously combo it like this, I have to drop down. Through it anyway. Thank you, Apoc23, for the sub, dude. Much appreciated. Enjoy the Iwi, uh, Kiwi emotes. The Iwi Kiwi emotes. Alright, so this strat is fucking terrible and I hate it, but it's fast. But it's fucking obnoxious to do. Because it feels like it can fail a lot. That shouldn't be what happens. Fine, whatever, I'll take a slow fight. Okay. Fuck, I don't care. I just don't fucking care, alright? <laughs> Fuck Stitch. And fuck that threat. For somehow not working. I can't even explain why it didn't work, it just didn't. I did the strat inputs correctly, I think. It just didn't retaliate when he was supposed to. 
Okay, fucking whipping out strats on the fly. Lost me 10 seconds. Whatever. I can deal. God, that fucking water clone. Thank God for once more, or else that was guaranteed death. Was frozen for a while? I don't think so. No one else has said that. Plus, no drop frames. Alright. Uh, grinding in Tron World was actually pretty trolly. I only ended at 10 early, but better than a, you know, it could have gone, I guess. Which is like 9 seconds slower. Or not getting enough VXP actually is worse. Even if I had a death now, if it's short enough, I could still probably be okay with the run at this point. Oh boy, alright. Why do I want a potion? Oh yeah, because uh, I could die in doing the finals on the strat. Okay. Oh, what the? Okay. <laughs> I thought, alright, fine, I'll take it. I thought that was gonna get knocked away.
Are you kidding me, dude? I don't care, just be safe. Could have died there. Oh god, I'm not at full HP either. That's really shitty luck. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I'll take it though. This means I could die if something stupid happens, but whatever. Alright, this limit fucking better load or I'm gonna die at the extreme beginning of this fight. If you were doing 2.5, this strat would like not work at the beginning, you'd have to do an extra flick. Whatever. Alright, alright. As long as mashing doesn't somehow fail, this is a deathless uh, sub 420 record in 2.5 JP. And I will have literally just reached my goal tonight. Do not fucking fail me, PS3 controller. I will be goddamn furious at you. So I don't know, I don't, well obviously this probably wouldn't have beat my original 2FM record because a lot of jank at the end, but I'm content with this. This is still a pretty good run. Probably a 343 on original 2FM, maybe upper. Alright dude, another deathless run, sick. Also hilarious lag right now because 2.5 was a great point. PS3 just can't handle a simple fight cutscene. God, I was the both armors and those fights. I played it way too safe, but whatever. After party time, yeah, I guess I gotta do an after party time. There it is, dude. Done. Not doing this version category for a super long time, probably. I have no reason to do this. Level one's gonna be next, guys. Level one original two FM first for sure. Yatta. All right, good time to end the recording.